Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing my eyelashes for you guys and I know you guys are in quarantine. You can't go see your lash artist so this is going to be a DIY how to do your own eyelashes at home. So I forgot to do a disclaimer. I just wanted to tell you guys I am a certified lash artist. Don't do this at home. It's very extremely dangerous. The glue can really like burn your eyes, you may lose your eyesight at worst case, you could have a allergic reaction as well. I'm only doing this because this is what I do to myself. I did take a lash course, looked up a bunch of videos and have done a lot of trial and error. So I've been doing this for years. So it does take a long time to get really good at this and you could definitely burn your eyes. So please don't do this at home. All the products and stuff that I'm mentioning is just things that I am using. They're just suggestions. You don't have to use them and I don't know if one or the other will cause more of a reaction to you. So it's definitely something you have to try out if you are going to copy anything that I'm doing. Just know that it's all on your own risk and I'm not suggesting that you should do this but this is for all the girls out there that did ask me. So if you are a lash artist yourself then this is one way that you could do your own lashes. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to put that out there. Obviously you will need some of these materials. I'm not sure if you will be able to buy them anywhere at this moment. Um, but I will show you some things that you can get on Amazon so it'll make it very easy for you guys. This is my little setup. So I've got some lashes here. These are actually purchased um, on Amazon. And these are the 0.03 C mix. I started switching to the C curl. Then this one is Sugar Lash Pro Glue, but there are, um, I think the company is called Fora Belly, and they are on Amazon and they make lash glue. I've showed them to you guys before in a video. These tweezers are both from Amazon as well. Everything is very like good in price. Then you need some regular acetone to um, wipe the residue off from your lash glue. And you will need some lint-free um, little wipes because lint -free, it has to be lint-free because if you're using anything that has that's not lint-free, if there's anything like left on your lashes, it can have a reaction with the glue, and literally you can catch on fire. Like no, like literally, like your lashes can like get singed off that way because it does have a reaction and it can like happen even later down the road. So even if you're using like um what are they called, like cotton pads or anything like that, or like Q-tips, like just stay away from those. For brushing my lashes, I'm gonna use one of these. You can get all of these on Amazon. I should show you guys my stash. So I've got all of these on Amazon. Everything's around $10 for like 100 or 50. Um, if you wanna use sealer, you can get these little lip brushes. Honestly, everything is just amazing. You can even get a sealer on Amazon and this is what the package looks like for the lint-free wipes so so good like everything you can even get a fan for to like dry glue so I know you guys are in quarantine so I am in a really comfy quarantine outfit I wear this thing all the time and um, I hope you guys are being safe and staying at home um, I am an essential worker, so I do still go to work, so my routine hasn't really changed except for doing lashes after work um, has now changed, so I hope that I don't forget how to do lashes, especially like my volume fans. I don't really want to waste fans um, because I don't pre-make them. I make them as I go on my clients, and um, just why here is I'm just having some coffee. Yes, I did stop for coffee on my way home this morning, um, but yeah, I make coffee every day at home, so it just felt like a treat today. Also, my coffee order is a vanilla iced coffee, and sometimes I'll get like sugar-free. Today I didn't, but it's like a dollar extra for sugar-free. Tell me why. Okay, so I'm gonna shake my glue. So what you wanna do is you don't wanna shake it up and down because it'll make your glue explode, or it can, and it'll create air pockets. Also, you can get yourself a little light like this on Amazon. It's basically a selfie light. And just, yeah, that's what I use. You don't have to spend a lot, a lot of money to get started as a lash artist. So if you're coming out of this quarantine and you want to do a new job, you can be a lash artist. It's not that costly to start up. And you can basically get almost anything on Amazon. I've refrained from ordering glue on Amazon, but 
um, I have used glue from Amazon before too. So the Sugar Lash Pro um, glue promises, I think, four to six weeks of retention. And I gotta say, it's very highly true. Um, I get good retention with this one. I also like the Live Bay Lash one. And those are my favorites. I'm actually gonna use a piece of tape to put my glue on because normally I use the strip from like the bottom or the in-between strip of my under eye mask and I don't have that today so I'm just gonna use a piece of tape that I can just remove easily off of this I'm just gonna put the glue right here so I'm just going to get some of my acetone and I'm just wiping the top that way you won't have a glue that's stuck and you won't be able to use it. And now I do have my lashes right here. I'm using 14s and 15s. And my left eye is in a lot worse shape because the last time when I was doing it, I had so many left on the left eye that I didn't really have to fill it. So now those all like fell out. So for your retention, you definitely want to make sure that you wash your lashes before you get started. I think I washed them last night. So what I'll do is I'll take my tweezers and I'm kind of like picking through to see if there's any residue of anything. So here's what it's looking like right now. I haven't brushed it on this side. And I'm doing this side now, but I wanted to still share some tips while I'm doing this. So you will likely have to um, give yourself another dot of glue because after 30 minutes or so, the glue starts to dry or even an hour. Um, but after 30 minutes, it's kind of like the optimal time to get a new blob of glue. So that's what I'm doing right now. So again, shake it up for a little bit. And all you need is one drop, especially because it does dry so fast. I'm just going to put a new one on the other side. And I'm hopefully not going to do this for too much longer. Just have to do the other eye, wipe it, and then you're done. Also, if you have um, nails on, like acrylic or shellac, this will take it off. So careful, if you have nail polish, it'll remove that. I swear you guys, I can't stop coughing. My husband made jerk pork and he put so much jerk on it that the whole house, like everyone's coughing. <laughs> it's so spicy. <laughs>
don't even know if you guys can even see this. So what I do is I just take my tweezers and kind of pull them apart to see where the lashes are. It gets easier the more lashes you have on. And then I try to kind of keep them apart and it's easier to apply because you don't want to use them. The less glue you use, the better because it will dry faster. when making your fans. <coughs> if your fans aren't perfect, that's totally okay as long as your, your base is good, then you're okay. Alright you guys, this is what the finished look is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it gave you some helpful tips and stay tuned for more lash videos. I feel like you guys really like them so definitely want to give them to you guys. I am trying to upload Wednesdays and Sundays but for the most part I'm trying to stick with Wednesdays even though I know that didn't happen yesterday but I'm gonna try and edit this right now so I can upload it for you guys um yeah so don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video bye